Hello, Izzy. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert at Zucor Marketing in San Antonio. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website over to me for analysis. This video that you're watching now is that analysis. Now, I've looked over your site and I found that your site is underperforming in Phoenix. And the folks that you are losing out to the most are right here. Uh, Diamond Kitchen and Bath. Now, um, I'm going to show you how they are beating you, how they are getting more customers online. Uh, I'm going to show you the numbers, and I'm also going to give you uh, some really tangible things that you can put into practice right now, uh, immediately if you want. Um, if you have access to your internet, you can take these suggestions and just run with them. Um, but uh, let me start out by saying that you have a great website otherwise. Um, it's professional. These are your own photos. They're not like taken from a, uh, a photo bank or uh, so these are it's a really great uh, uh, beginning that you have here. And I see that it's been updated. It's 2024. So uh, but what we're talking about is that you need to make some changes within your website itself to help it become more uh, attainable. Let's put it that way. Now, uh, the first thing that I do when I look at a uh, site is I have a paid tool and it's called Ahrefs. It is something that I have a subscription to and it uh, allows me to uh, see the metrics of your site uh, and see what your site has been doing over the last couple of months. Now, the next thing I do is I go and do a regular old Google search, in this case, Phoenix, Arizona, kitchen and bath. And the reason I do that is because Google is responsible for 96% of traffic on the Internet. That makes them the powerhouse. And uh, playing with them, uh, playing nice with them is an advantage to your business. It truly is. Now, uh, most people don't know how Google works, so I am going to describe to you how Google works and how you can make it work for you. And I'm going to do so by explaining the uh, results on this page. Now, um, up at the top of the page, you're going to see folks who say sponsored. That means that they have paid to be there. Now, that is a strategy that can work for some companies, not for all. Uh, and I don't really know why it does and why it doesn't for some companies, but uh uh, I'm sure somebody out there is researching that. Um, now, underneath the sponsored ones, we have what we in my industry call the map path because they're attached to this map. Now, um, these folks did something that the folks down here did not do, and that is they filled out, or uh, maybe they did it, but they did it not as well as these folks. Uh, they filled out a Google business profile. Now, uh, that gets you into the Google fold, if you will, uh, to become part of the Google family of companies. Um, and uh, all it does is taking uh, time to fill out a, a profile, a bunch of boxes that are empty, just fill them in. Um, but uh, this is important for another reason. Google has an algorithm which uh, they let loose on the internet. It crawls the internet. It looks at all the sites that there are and it determines which sites are worthy of their search customers. So because uh, they want to send their search customers to some place that is going to be relevant for them. Uh, and uh, there are a couple ways that Google wants you to achieve that. Now, uh, this is number one. There's only three things the algorithm wants from you. One, the Google business profile. Now, underneath the business, the map pack, as we call it, uh, we have what we call the organic search results. And uh, these are organic in the sense that uh, you don't have to do anything in order to get in the search results. Uh, you don't have to fill out a profile. All you have to do is have a website. Now, that's pretty easy. But where you are placed in that website has everything to do with how Google sees your site. Now, uh, here, uh, I'm going to choose number two for uh, reasons that uh, it would be difficult to explain. But uh, Diamond Kitchen and Bath, I'm going to use as your big competitor. They're the second actual um, uh, contractor that I find here. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how they are beating you. Now, 
Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is tell you that Google loves content. And I am copying and pasting your uh, homepage into this word counter. Now you have 117 words, and I'll do the same here for diamond. Uh, okay, that's that. All right, 389 words. Now, when you're an algorithm, you're looking for more. More is better. So they have almost three times more than you do in terms of words. And you wonder, why words? Why is that important? Well, the Google algorithm is not an intelligent thing. It just looks through the internet and does things like this. It counts all the words. Why? Because more words means more information. That's basically it. Whether it's good information or not is completely up to the uh, reader, but uh, more information is better. Now, if, if, if Google sent you to a website that had three words on it, uh, uh, kitchens are good, you would look at that web page and you go, why in the heck did Google send me here? So uh, having more words is better. And to be honest, Google expects a minimum of about 1,500 words to um, legitimize your site. So having a lot more words would be of benefit to yours. Your, your site is a little spare on the words and you do make people go elsewhere for things like the gallery. Um, why make them click somewhere else when uh, the gallery could be part of down here? Um, there's no real uh, problem with having your gallery on the same page as your home page. Um, now, you know, contact us. That's good. Blog. That's another thing. You could be making great use of the blog by uh, making sure that it, it stays um, current. And uh, it looks like there was a big gap there of about four months between one and the other. But this is a great way of getting words into the website uh, in total. But um, now, uh, I'm also going to tell you, though, that words are, are not equal at Google. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about keywords. Keywords are words that Google expects you to have on your site because it looks at your site and all of your competitor sites, and it sees what little word phrases come up the most. Now, those little word phrases, uh, it, it says, oh, well, OK, these must be part of that industry. So it saves them and makes a list, and it uh, compares them against all of the sites in that category. Now, it doesn't actually know what business you're in because it's not reading those little uh, commonalities with any sort of intelligence. It just sees, well, here, let me show you. You have 12 keywords. Diamond has 2,700. That means a little bit of catch up for you there. Um, here are their uh, keywords. Full overlay cabinets, kitchen remodel, near me. Can you put cabinets on top of, is that IVP or LVP? I'm wearing my glasses too, and I can't tell. Um, a bunch of these are how to install a farmhouse sink with granite. A bunch of these are a part of your industry. You know, they're not my industry, so a bunch of them are just, you know, Greek to me. There's that LVP or IVP again. Um, the uh, bathroom vanity blacks backsplash height. Oh, my tongue was not working on that one. Um, so uh, these are the sorts of things that they have included in their website. Uh, and it looks to me like they might be part of their blogging. So that's a perfect way to get some of these uh, keywords into the website. Now, I don't want to keep you here all day, so I'm going to scroll down. Oh, here we are at the bottom anyway. There's another 82 pages of these keywords. And if they're good enough for them, they are good enough for you. Uh, incorporating them into your website would be a great way for Google to recognize your site as something that is worthwhile to go to. The next thing I'm going to talk about are backlinks. Backlinks is where uh, some other site has your URL on it, and that means that there is a link back to you. That's a backlink. And the referring domains, the, the sites that your uh, backlink or on is the number we're really looking at. Now, this number should be about half of this number. So you're right on track. You're doing well. You have three referring domains. That's a good start. Here's what Diamond has, 220 referring domains. Which ones? Let me show you. 
Homestead.com, yellowpages.com, expertise.com, uh, Dun and Bradstreet, um, A AZ Central. That I don't know what that one is, but it's you know your community. So you want anything that is say seventy or above? This old house, super pages. Those are all great rated ones. Um, so you want any of these that are rated seventy and above? Now this rating is called the domain rating. And uh, this is the strength of a domain's backlink profile compared to the others in the database. Now, the backlink profile, uh, you have one, too. On your site, your backlink profile is 1.9. And for, uh, say, homestead.com, theirs is a 91. This is a scale of 0 to 100 because they have 120,000 referring domains. Now, uh, Google has no way of vetting your site. So what they're going to say is, well, if a site that a lot of people go to recommend this site, that must make it worthwhile. So uh, Google is happy to send their customers, uh, search customers to places that other people have already been. Now, what this all comes down to is this. Uh, your traffic last month and the month before was one. And one the month before because there's not another little symbol there. So you had two visitors uh, to your site in the last two months. And Diamond has had uh, 753. Now that is up 29 from the month before. So uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of catching up to do. And why do they have so much traffic? Here is exactly why. They are at the top of a Google search. They are number two in the organic search results. And uh, that is what makes all the difference. Now, uh, I want to look for uh, AZ Remodels Pro here in this Google search. And I just want you to think about your own Google behavior. And let me know if, uh, you know, when you are searching for something, when you say, oh, I need to find, I don't know, let's say kitchen and bass in this case, uh, you're going to search through the results and you're going to look at things. Um, and how far down will you scroll before you say, you know what, I have probably scrolled as far as I need to. I've been given a bunch of good options up top. So, um, yeah, I'll probably stop scrolling here. Now, I have scrolled down to the bottom of page three. Uh, page four is coming up and I still don't find you. So I want to know, would you have given up right now looking for your own site if you were just looking for kitchen and bath? And that's the problem. Some guy with a uh, you know Twinkie in one hand and a mouse in the other is not going to make his way to you. And that's a problem because this is supposed to be a tool of your business. This is supposed to be something that makes you money, that uh, brings customers to you. That's why you made it to begin with. And you apparently spent money on it because it looks darn good. So that being the case, um, uh, hopefully, uh, well, you can take away something from what I've given you today. I'm going to tell you those three things again. I'm going to recap. Uh, one, fill out the Google business profile. Uh, two, uh, more and better keywords, and three, more and better backlinks. Now, these are all things, like I said, you can implement them right now. Now, we can also help you implement these changes, and that would be with the goal of getting more new customers. Now, Eric will be following up with you to get some feedback on the ideas that I've discussed here in this video. Um, thank you so much for your time. You have a great rest of your day, Izzy.